Hello, my foodie friends and family. I'm going to be making meatloaf. I have three pounds of ground meat, and I have the one that's really has a lot of fat. I'm going to do a cup of crackers. I got the buttery kind crackers. I'm going to do a cup of cheese. Yes, I know cheese. And then I'm going to add a third cup of grated carrots. Now, I use this little bitty one right here that I have. And got my carrot and grated it so it made it real small and fine. So it won't be big old chunks. So then to that as well, I'm going to add um, half a tablespoon of the chopped onions that are dry. And I'm going to be using fresh onions, but that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do a half a tablespoon of Italian seasoning. And then, of course, I'm going to also do half an onion and half a bell pepper. You can cut them as big as you want. I do it real small, little dice, because my family doesn't like to bite into the vegetables. So I want to make sure they get cooked and get softened. So that's why I do it real fine. Okay, so it depends on the size of your bell pepper and onion. We'll determine how much half is. You know, you could do a lot less. You can do more totally up to you. And then I'm going to do a tablespoon of black pepper and whatever brand you use. Okay. You got your black pepper there. I'm going to do a tablespoon of your garlic powder. And actually, this is the garlic with salt. So I'm going to do a tablespoon of garlic with salt. And then I'm going to do a tablespoon of just the regular garlic powder. I know it seems like a lot of garlic, but it really tastes good. But that's the only salt that I'm going to be adding to it, so it helps out. Okay. Also to this, I'm going to add a tablespoon of the Worcestershire sauce. All this you're gonna mix and I don't like using my hands to mix the meat you can I just normally put um, gloves on but I don't have any gloves today so I'm gonna do it with this eventually I will be touching it with my hand but just to get it started I break it down you can use a rubber spatula if it's strong enough to cut into the meat. This is just a wooden spoon, totally up to you. And mix it. I, have you noticed, I'm not going to use any egg. I don't like egg. So that's why I put the cheese and use that as a binder, as well as the crackers. So the wet part for me, instead of the egg, it's going to be the cheese that's going to be in there. So I'm going to just mix this up. I'll be right back as soon as I finish mixing it. So you won't have to be in here seeing me mix and mix and mix with this wooden spoon. Okay, so as soon as I finish mixing it, I'll be right back. I forgot to add uh, my Dijon mustard. And let me get, we're going to do half and half. So. It's going to be half of the uh, whole grain mustard. That's the one that has a little, kind of little grain on here. And then we're going to do the D Dijon mustard as well. So I'm going to do half of, of each one. So I'm just going to put it as, kind of eyeball it. Okay. And same thing with this. And the other half. Okay, so we got that there. And now I'm gonna finish mixing it. Okay, guys, I'm back. I finished mixing it. And right here I have, because I know you see it that it's square, I have a um, brownie pan. And I'm gonna use it so I can have individual uh, portions when I serve because I don't want to be cutting into a meatloaf and stuff 
So I'm just getting whatever I think might fit in here and I'm going to pack it in there. I didn't spray it or anything because like I said, this meatloaf has a fi uh, high fat content on it. So I don't have to worry about it's going to stick. If um, if you make a lot and you don't, you can always make it in any pan. You can, I've made it in my bunt pan, any pan, any baking pan, in the loaf pan. I just didn't want to dig through all my pans to get the loaf pan. And this is the first one that popped up. So that's the one I got. You know, but sometimes I'll make it in my cupcake uh, pan for the muffins, the tin pan. So this is what I do to mine. And then I'm going to let it cook. And I'll be making the sauce here in a little bit. If you have any leftover that doesn't fit in the pan, just put it in a different pan. You know, it doesn't have to be all fitting here in the same one. And I will list everything portions and stuff this is three pounds of uh, ground beef okay so you're gonna have yourself three pounds here this is a lot for us but I'm gonna call my brother and ask him if he wants to come over and eat or pick up some to take I'll send some to my son as well so this is what we're gonna be doing for dinner today I'm not sure what sides I'm gonna do yet okay so I'll be right back when I finish filling these out. So I have enough for all of them. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to top them up. So I only have a little bit left. I don't want to dirty another pan. So I'm just going to make them kind of round. You put a little bit extra on some. Like I said, it's going to shrink anyway because of the fat that's in it. So I'm just going to put a little mound on top. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to put this on a cookie sheet so all the grease that falls, it doesn't fall into my oven. And I'm going to start a fire there or something. So, because I am putting a little bit extra on top, I just want to be safe about it and make sure it doesn't spill over. I already have my oven at 375 preheated. I will be cooking it for about maybe. 30 minutes. I'm going to take it out and then I'm going to top it with the um, glaze that I'm going to make for it, the topping of it. You know, some people use ketchup, some people, you know, make it differently. I don't use ketchup. I actually just use tomato sauce and some other stuff. I'll mix it. I'll show you here in a bit my topping mixture. Make these right here. I'm almost done with it. You could put green onions in it. You could put just about anything. One time I made it with mushrooms, but the family was not fond of that. So, no more mushrooms in this. So, let's see here. Just a little bit more. And that's it. That is all the meatloaf right here. If I said you could put it in another pan, I just didn't want to dirty another pan. So, I'll be right back. I'm going to wash my hands. Okay, so here we are going in the oven at 375 for 30 minutes. And then I'll be making my sauce for the topping. Okay. Okay, so I'm making now the glaze for the top of the uh, meatloaf. So I'm going to do a quarter cup of brown sugar. I'm going to do a whole small can of tomato sauce instead of ketchup. I'm going to use tomato sauce. I got the one with no salt and low on sugar because I don't want all that sweetness. I already have that um, brown sugar in there. And this right here is a half a cup of barbecue sauce. Put that in there. I'm going to do a tablespoon of your garlic salt. Again, because I'm not adding any salt. This already has it. So I'm going to put this aside. I'm going to do a tablespoon of the Worcestershire sauce. And I always try to use the same ingredients that I use inside the foods. So it could stay within the flavors. And then 
I'm going to do half a tablespoon again of the grain, uh, whole, uh, whole grain mustard. So let me get that. Okay, so I got the whole grain mustard. And then I'm going to also do uh, the Dijon mustard. And I'm going to do half of a tablespoon as well. to keep these facing down so they can come out a lot easier okay and all we're gonna do with this is give it a mix I'm gonna set it aside in the refrigerator because I'm waiting for the meatloaf to be done so since they're in individual containers basically uh, they're not one whole loaf I felt to to tell you that they cook faster when they're that small to where if it's one big loaf it takes the 30 minutes to cook and then we put it with the glaze and put it in for another 15 minutes so it's probably going to maybe do about 20 minutes of the meatloaf and maybe 10 to 15 minutes if that with the glaze on I'll test one of them just to make sure that it is cooked inside and just make sure you mix this real good. Get a little whisk or something because I can see right now that the um, dry spices are a little clumpy. So I don't want to bite into a clump of that spice. Let's see if you can see it right there. So I'm just going to get a little whisk. Okay, got my whisk. Set this aside while I give it a little mixture. You just want to make sure you break it all up because you don't want to bite into that. Okay, so I'm going to put this aside in the refrigerator. I'll be back when it is done. Okay, here. I'm going to pull it out. Let me get another little pot holder here. And you can see all the grease on it. Like I said, I just put a little cookie sheet just in case. And let me get... just to cut it just to make sure it's cooked but I'm gonna get one of the center ones because of course the heat takes a little bit longer okay it's slightly pink so I'm gonna leave it there another 10 minutes okay so I put it back And I'm going to put my timer for 10 minutes. Right now it's been in there 15 minutes. Like I said, it's going to take less time than the loaf itself. So let me set my timer. Okay. So I'll be back once it's done. It's a matter of fact. And when, it come, when I come back out in the 10 minutes, I'm going to put the sauce on top, the glaze, and put it in for another about 5 minutes. But I'm going to put it on broil so it can cook real fast. Okay, let's see how this is going. Stayed in the oven a little bit longer because I had to step out for a little bit. So I kind of overcooked a little bit, but that's okay. I like mine well done anyway. Like I said, mine has the extra fat in it. You can buy the lean. And I'm going to give it some light here. And you can be as generous as you want with this. If you want to put a lot of it, just a little bit, totally up to you. And you can cook it for as long as you want, as far as long as the meat inside is cooked, we're good to go. I like mine well done anyways. That's just me. And I know a lot of people like that medium to medium well, so not me. Like I say, you can be real generous with this sauce. 
and being that it's already cooked, you can actually put some on your plate. But I like it cooking here. I like the little flavor it gets once it cooks off. I think I'm just going to use a little spoon and put a little bit more sauce. Normally I use all this sauce when it's a big loaf because I'll put a bunch. So let's see here. Let me get a little spoon. Like I said, you can be real generous because some of it's going to fall off anyway when it's cooking. So let's see here. And the ones that I added the extra meat to it <laughs> look kind of funny and misshapen. And those are the ones that got extra toasty on top. And like I said, I put a tray underneath. As you could tell, some of the oils are on the edge right here. So, whatever bubbles up and comes out, comes out. It's okay. Okay, the last of it. Put it back in the oven for about five minutes because it's already fully cooked. I just want the sauce to cook a little bit where well, I'm going to put it back in, but I'm going to put it on broil. Mm, this smells good. And while that is cooking, let me put my timer for five minutes and um, broil. Okay, so that's going to bake right there. I'm going to start on my sides. Okay, so it is done. Take it out. And you want it to rest for a few minutes, at least like five minutes, before you pull it out. And pull them out. You can put them in a paper towel if you want. But that's totally up to you if you want to put them on a paper towel. Because I know they're greasy, but you might have to buy the lean meat. So, it just depends on what you buy. Okay, I know I need to let it rest. I'm going to pull one out. And it is solid. I didn't have to put any egg in it. Drain out some of that fat. There's a lot of fat in there. But what I like about this is that they're in little portions. You can put one, two, totally up to you. I am trying to be as quick as possible. I got me some potatoes over here warming up. I'm doing the last of it. I added the milk already. I uh, got some... Um, pork and beans or baked beans whatever you want to call them and I'm going to do a simple simple salad just lettuce and tomato that's it and a little bit of dressing that's what I like with my meatloaf just something simple nothing big I'm just gonna cut it with my hands and if you give me a second here I will plate it and show you I'm going to turn this off. And you don't have to do barbecue on the meatloaf. That's just what I like. Okay, let me get me some fluffy potatoes here. And the pork and beans kind of expanded a little bit here and <laughs> spread it out too. Let's see here. Give me a second. Let me move things around. I'll move you in here. Get me a knife real quick. I'll bring it a little bit closer over here. Like I said, it's going to be super simple. Nothing 
fancy on that lettuce. I'm just going to cut some Rama tomatoes. And I just chopped it up with my hand, nothing. Okay, and a little bit of dressing. Today I feel like eating the French dressing. Normally I do maybe like an Olive Garden, I'll buy their dressing. But this is it. I'm done. You got some baked beans, your mashed potatoes, and you have your simple salad, your meatloaf. Do you know what? I'm going to add a little bit something to that potato. I'm going to add a little bit of cheese because I already have a little bit of bacon bits in it. And I love a loaded potato, whether it's baked or whichever. So this is it okay so I'm gonna cut into it so you could see and I don't need a knife but I'm just gonna cut into it and show you how solid that is you could see a little bit of the bell pepper the onion you can't really see the carrots that's how fine it is when I shredded it so I'm gonna take a bite of this now let's see what it tastes like Mmm, that's really good. You could taste the Worcestershire sauce in it. A little bit of the um, barbecue sauce. It's really good. Mmm, take me a bite of this. Mmm, that's awesome. Okay, guys, that's it. I'm going to go ahead and sit down and eat and enjoy this meal. I have to taste a little bit of these potatoes with a little bit of... Let's see here. Mmm. With the little roll, that would be perfect. Okay, y'all have a good evening. Love you guys. You have a good one.